the channel. Today is extremely windy. And as you know, I am remodeling my kitchen. I need to build some cabinets. I am not a fan of wind. And we're going to get some high winds today. So I don't want sawdust and all that blowing in my face. But I'm going to tell you what needs done that we can do indoors that I think you guys might be interested in. If you've watched my channel for any length of time, you know all too well about the rusty old fridge. That's right. That's what I call her. The rusty old fridge. She's rusty. She's got pot marks. She ain't purdy. But we're going to restore this today and bring back the beauty it deserves. Now this refrigerator is probably... I've had it 12 years. And it had to have been 10 years old when I bought it. So, you know, it's over 20 years old. You know today, the appliances that are built, they only last a couple of years. This one works perfectly. So I want to keep it as long as I can before I take the plunge to buy a new appliance. Uh, man, there's refrigerators still working from the 50s. You know, they knew how to build things in this country and now we are importing everything and it's a throwaway world. So we're going to begin, I'm going to take these handles off, we're painting those. I'm going to pop this Whirlpool emblem off. That's back when Whirlpool was made, in, I believe they made these where I grew up in Oklahoma. I know they made, they had a big factory there. It's closed now, go figure. And then I got a thing that we're going to do here that's very inexpensive. And I think it's going to change the whole look. It's going to add to the kitchen that I've been remodeling. I put in a new countertop, excuse the mess, I've been cleaning the fridge and I still got to finish over here. I've got butcher blocks that are going to go up on both sides here and there. Everything's just kind of crammed where I can put it because I don't have my counters built yet. So we're going to go ahead and get these handles popped off here and that and I've already wiped this down very well with hot soapy water. Then I went over it with some Windex. Uh, that's as good as it gets. So I need to get that handle off, see if I can't get that rusty spot. Now, a little, it has to be clean for what I'm going to do with it. So stay tuned, let me get these handles off. They're very simple. You just take the screws out here, take them off. I'm going to be painting those so they won't, they won't look the, yeah, they won't look the same. Let's go. All right, first time using this pan doing my fried egg. This thing has a little vibration to it, so I'm thinking, but if you touch it, it quits. All right, let's see if we can do this with the new pan. I don't know. Ha, never mess. Oh, I got a little butter on there. All right, me eat my breakfast. Hey, now, you gotta watch what you do. Oh, it's good, doesn't need no heat. It's cooking the yolk. All right, Rooster's looking forward to looking the plate. Let me eat my breakfast. We'll get to work. In my very best acting voice. Oh my! I have these eggs that I cannot finish with these little two miniature puppy dog sized toasts. Whatever will I do with them? Whatever will I do? I wish I had a little dog named Rooster. You want egg? Egg? It's her favorite. Next to biscuits and gravy. Get your toast. It's got the extra butter that you like. You gotta have the toast to sop up the yolk. Going to town. There goes the toast. Alright. I'm gonna start off with taking these handles off. I already got the bottom one out. There's a little plug you just pop off. <laughs> well, that ruins everything. You know what a man would say to that? Super glue. All right, well, I don't know if I got that recorded or not. The camera was following the handle when it fell off. And it broke. I just went to open the door and it broke. So I, hopefully I can super glue this. Or I'm going to have to try to order a new one. I don't know, man. So anyway, I'm taking the screws off. Just Phillips head. 
I think super glue can fix this, but I don't know. Terrible. And I'm taking the screws and the pieces, putting them in a Ziploc bag. Okay, now. Two screws under here. Very simple. I learned my lesson. I'm not going to pull on it until all the screws are out. And two up here. And if you didn't know, most refrigerators, you can put the handles on either side. The doors are reversible. Uh, I, think, I think I got them right where I need them. All right, now the handles are removed. I'm going to wipe this down where the handle, where I couldn't get to it. Put these in a baggie for safekeeping. Yeah, there ain't much to super glue there. Uh, my, uh, I'm sure you can order replacement handles. And if I got to do that, I might as well get some nice looking ones. So I think I'm going to probably look that up and, and see if I can find some uh, replacements. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just take a little... Uh, where'd it go? Where did it go? Well, this is the stuff I was looking for earlier. Couldn't find it. The works tile, tub and tile. That ought to do it. Oh, yeah. Get that nice and clean. And we're only going to worry about the tops, the sides. And we're not going to do anything to the sides over here. Now you want to make sure that the top is clean. Now I had a ton of stickers on here. So, not fun. You don't want any bumps. I don't want to get this stuff on my new floor. See, that's just solid rust. It doesn't matter. Yep. You know, you're handling it all the time. You might have wet hands you're cooking. So it's going to create a little rust there. All right. We just want this nice and clean. Uh, this thing is not sitting very level. I when I read When I put the new floor in I pulled the fridge out and I put the flooring back there It had some boards that were bracing it level. I didn't put them back. It's really not matter it Doesn't matter much, but I will probably fix that We shouldn't have to pull this out of here today You are not looking inside Okay, now I'm going to take some just clean hot water and wipe this down again. I'm going to get another washcloth to do that with. And then I'll come back. Alright, so if you're wondering what we're going to do, I have ordered some, I don't know what you call them, wraps. Basically fancy contact paper with a design. Huh? There's two pieces here. Here's one. Oh, there's two pieces. So we got to figure out which way is one. I think it says. There's really no good. Uh, it's got to have that Chinese writing on it. Okay, this is two of two. And this is one of one. Well, I know how the flag's supposed to go. And this is supposed to go on top. Am I right? Let's just kind of mock it up here. And then... No, I think I'm backwards. Okay, this one, I'm not even going to go by the writing on the wall. All right, let's see. So it's going to go like that. Well, I guess that would be about right. That would be about right. Okay. <laughs> I'm not good at sticking things. <laughs> but it did do some pretty cool cabinets back in the 90s with contact paper. It come out good. Uh, I guess I need to get tape measure out and put some, put some marks somewhere. So it's going to basically fit like that. So we just got to find center. Yeah, because it's going to wrap around the side. Now they didn't have, when you, when you pick these out, they're going to show modern fridges. You're only worried about the front. If you can get the sides wrapped, that's cool. But this is all I'm... And they give you plenty of extra. This is a little, quite a bit longer. And that's good. Because I might screw up here. 
All right, so we're going to find center on this. I'm going to mark just about where I need to be. Okay, right there. I'm just kind of ballparking it right now. And then right about there. So we're not going to go all the way back, it seems, here. But it's going back almost all the way back. I thought it was wider. So basically, we're just going to line the stuff up like that. All right. Let's get going, man. Now I've got, I measured across, I've found center. Uh, this is like 14 inches and a little bit. Uh, so this is center. This is going to give me a rough reference point as to where to start with this stuff, which leaves enough to wrap around evenly. And I've got my laser. Uh, we're going to get into that when I start doing the cabinets. I did get the uh, Whirlpool thing off there. It fell somewhere. I don't know where it went. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and stick this. Now I have a little razor knife. Brand new. So, well, I guess let's just see what we can do here. And I guess the best way to do this is just go ahead and get it stuck and then slowly peel back the stuff. Oh, this is going to go wonderful. Where's my glasses? Mm. This is the part I don't like. Where? You got to get it started, man. Oh, that was pretty easy. Okay. Don't let that laser blind you guys. All right. Sure don't feel very sticky. Oh, yeah, it does. All right. We only get one shot at this, man. All right. Let's go just a little bit. All right. So I want a little, I can go all the way on the top, because there's plenty of this. I want it at least fairly straight. Okay, I'm not going to commit to it yet. That looks really good. Okay. Let me get my laser. See, that's going to be good all the way down so we know we're straight. All right, I'm going to go ahead and... The first part's the critical part. Oh, what'd you do? Okay, there's my laser. Oh, wow. That's, that's about as straight as you can get it. I just hope this sticks really good to this. Okay, now we know in the corner we're going to have to slice it. Uh, let's see, yeah. Let's go ahead and get it stuck. All right, where's my laser? Okay, let's slowly peel. Pull it taut. See, my body gets in front of the laser. Ah, it's, it's not exactly straight, guys. I want to get this right. Yeah. This, this needs to be pulled back up. So you probably don't get a ton of shots with this. Shouldn't have put it down all the way. If you're going to mess up, that's the spot to mess up on top. Okay. more here. There's plenty of it lengthwise. Okay. That looks much better. You don't want bubbles. Ah, oh, that looks good. Okay, now look at the laser. It's right on the edge the way we want it. Do or die time. Let's get her. This shouldn't take too long. Go a little bit at a time. I'm going to go right past the freezer there. Now I want enough here, you know, where I'll run my razor blade. And we're just going to, we're not going to open these doors. We're just going to go straight down. We'll take a razor blade, cut it about halfway. It'll be enough to tuck it in there. I hope. All right, pull it nice and tight. Gently. 
Let's see where our laser is. Uh huh. This is sticking really well. Where's my laser? Oh yeah, it's still straight. It ain't gonna move now. Okay. I know there's somebody there going, he ain't doing it right. Oh, <laughs> there's that oral pole. I tell you, I kill me sometimes. Woo, I tell you. I got to get my knee pad. All right. Now, if you're concerned about here not having enough, there's going to be plenty extra left over. We could patch that in. You'll never know, I would assume. Uh, what am I looking for? Well, I guess nothing. Ah, ha, ha, ha. All right. So just keep continuing down. Oh, yeah. Still on the laser. It's looking good. Okay, let me get this out towards me. Rusty old fridge, you're going to have a new look. Man, we're going to have to take you to Hollywood. Yes, sir. Oh. I'm not worried about it on the bottom. We are stuck. Okay. I'm going to go a couple inches past. Look at that, right on the laser. It's a little off at the bottom, but hey, what's a man going to do? All right. So we got that to do patching with. All right, there's one side. Go ahead and I'm going to come back later with a wet towel and you see there are some bubbles. Those are pretty easy to get out. You just tap them with a razor if you have to, but that's there wasn't many. Okay, we're not going to cut that in the middle. Ah, that hurt. My knees are really still recovering from laying the floor. We're going to go ahead and get the other side on before we do any cutting and shaping right now it looks like hammered booty but when we get the other piece on it should take shape all right let me grab it hammered booty now's where we got to be careful i ain't never restored a fridge before by gummy I don't, and, and now we know where our straight line is. We don't have to be too picky. Okay, it don't make any sense to do that. Now, I do got that little hinge there that I haven't removed and I am not going to remove. And we'll just cut around it. Ah, I remember the good old days when you didn't need glasses to do nothing. But I do now. I don't like this kind of thing, trying to get stickers. There we go. I had it. All right. I'm trying to film this, guys, as I go. And I'm not editing nothing out, really. Let's just see. So far, so easy. Okay. So, this is going to match up with this star here. I guess. Shall we overlap a hair? All right, let me stick it. Okay, let me step aside. Oh yeah, that's good. And you can see the laser, it's kind of, it'll, it'll meet up. As long as we're straight up here, we shouldn't have anything to worry about. Okay. And all I'm really concerned with is this front. We can fix anything on the side.
I'm not used to doing things gently. That's a new thing, man. I'll beat on it later. And I didn't notice these red lines. It is a little, but the stars line up. Okay, let's, let's move it up a little. I ain't liking it. I want that to line up down there. We're straight. It just needs to come up a shade. You may not care, but I do. Because the rusty old fridge has been good to me. All right, I want to try to get it without moving it much. All right. Let's just set that there and then come on down. Uh-huh, uh-huh, we're good. All right, let's do it. Gently. I'll just hit you. How's that? Get my frustrations out. All right. Pull it taut. Yeah, that lines up much, much better. You don't have to do that. Ah, I got a bubble. We'll work it out the side. <laughs> there it went. There it went. Now right, I got to be more gentle, I guess. Right, oh, don't stick. Don't stick, man. Hey. All right, oh, we're lined up good there now. A little bit of a bubble. But it's straight. Just that one spot. Where was it? I guess it wasn't much of one. It's gone. Alright, let me get my knee knee pad. Oh, I'm loving it already, guys. Alright, let me get down here. Hope the camera's at the right angle. Alright, pull it a little tight. Slowly. Now, as long as you get it good in the front, I say the rest ain't going to matter much. Because the front was the worst. All right, I hope. There we go. Come on out there, bubble. There you go. I just hope when we get to the bottom, it isn't trying to work its way. No, it is. Ah, what you got going on? There we go. Alright, let's try to get this all down. Get out of there! You! Oh, that went, that went great. That went great. Beautiful. Now we got extra of that. Now I'm going to take a, not a wet cloth, maybe just a dry, a little damp cloth. Go over this real good and stick it. When I come back, we're going to do the trimming and the cutting. Whoo, let's turn this laser off. We don't need it. I don't want to get that dude in my eye. All right. Oh, wow. Rustic. All right. That went real well. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm just, I, I think all we need to do is just cut straight on the edges. I hope I got the camera where you can see the whole thing. I know you're probably not seeing me. Right, let's get up here. So I'm just going to cut this straight. Just like that. And then I'm going to take this. Woo, don't. Pull it tight. Work my way down with it. Man, that there was no bubbles whatsoever. Did it? I can't believe I got it that decent. I'm usually not good at this crafty stuff. Oh, that didn't come well. 
Okay, I see what's going on. We need to go ahead and cut the, where, where the gap is between the fridge and the freezer. And that is a place where we're going to have to take some of that old stuff and patch in because it's not going to be... You would have to remove these doors and take them outside to get it right. They really didn't leave you a whole lot extra. So what I'm going to do is take my T-square here, find about the center of this, which is about there, and just cut it. Okay. That wasn't allowing me to pull the bubbles out over here. Let me grab this ever so slowly. All right, I had to make sure the microphone. I really got to watch this Rode microphone with that DJI camera. They don't, they ain't too compatible. At least I ain't figured out yet. All right, so we got that one. You know, the main objective here was to cover the front. And we got that. All right. Beautiful. And it is hanging lower than the actual door. But that went well. And now right here, there we go. That went well. And then we'll just take this, pull it down. Never know, never know. Now, did we already cut that? Yes, we did. Okay. Let's see, do I do dare, dare open that? Yep. See, it didn't, didn't give me much. I don't even think I'm going to worry about it too much. I don't think the, uh, you know, refrigerator wrap police are coming anytime soon. But I probably will on this part. Because this will be seen. Yeah. I don't know. It's all about the show, man. If I would have took the doors off, we could have got every bit of this right. Yeah, it's going to need something. I don't know where we left off with this, but yeah, there's, there's, there's enough to fix that. See? Perfectly. And we'll, we'll get to that. Wow, what a difference. What a difference. Okay, we got a hinge here. I'm simply going to take my knife and cut around the hinge. There we go. Cut this like I did over there. And wow, that side pretty much stuck. No bubbles. Well, let's cut out for the hinge. Tell you what, these knives I've got here work really well. Oh yeah. What do you think, guys? The rusty old fridge is patriotic, rustic, and I like it. I like it. All right, I'm going to do the finishing details, but uh, let's take a look at her. Let me get you off this stand here. And let's walk up on it like, you know, you're just coming into my... Oh, I'm sorry about that. Like you're just coming into my crib for the first time, all right? We're walking. Let's just play it out. Hello! Hey man, it's me, Earl. <laughs> come on, come on in, Earl. <laughs> it's invisible, Earl. Come on, Earl, check out my fridge. All right. Wow. Oh man, that is awesome, guys. What do you think, Earl? <laughs> that looks good. That's good as a wet possum on a sunny day. <laughs> I ain't lying to you. Oh man, I like it. Woo, guys, this is going to go good with the kitchen. Yes, it will. All right. So you know what to do now. Uh, like I said, I'm going to match up those pieces, go here on the top. 
I'm gonna take, I'm gonna order some new handles. I'll deal with this because I think I can find some cooler handles. Those are obviously brittle. I'm not gonna put them back on. Uh, that would look, that wouldn't look good. Eh, it'd look all right. But I bet I could find some cool chrome looking ones or something. What do you think? Ow, that's the wall, Mike. All right. The rusty old fridge has many more years left in her. Man, I'll tell you what, for over 20 year old fridge, it works great. And now it looks great. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like, subscribe, whatever you want to do. I never pressure people to subscribe. But uh, I thought you guys would enjoy this. Uh, I know there's a lot of people that don't want to buy the new appliances because they're terrible. And here's just an idea that, you know, came to me. And I didn't even know it was a thing until I got on Amazon and, and I typed in refrigerator wraps. And there's many, many different kinds. I will put a link to this one. Uh, I'm, you know, I, I purchased this on my own. I'm not doing this as a review. But uh, uh, very cool. Very cool. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.